And we out here having a good time talking about BSD today, the Bertrinerton Dyer conjecture. So today I'm going to take you through the proof for the Bertrinerton Dyer conjecture, which essentially shows that the number of points on an elliptic curve are infinite. So this is the second Millennium Prize problem that's been solved, and it was the first one that I solved. Here are TOC, Table of Contents. The abstract would basically say, look, the BSD states the number of rational points on an elliptic curve are infinite, and the Clay Mathematics Institute is offering a prize for anyone who can prove that conjecture. So, started by just wanting to visualize this, rendered this elliptic curve in Python, so you can see what it looks like. So, elliptic curves are important because they're used in cryptography and really important in payment transactions. For example, if you're using a blockchain that is based on elliptic curve cryptography to protect private and public keys as networks uh, exchange information regarding to relating to their financials. So elliptic curves really are just a mathematical shape that are really efficient and useful um, for internet transactions. This is the form of the elliptic curve. And then we get into some background mathematics, sort of just setting up the problem and where uh, people were leading up to the BSD problem formulation. And then we have our problem formulation, which was authored by Andrew Wiles. Um, so the conjecture for BSD is the Taylor expansion of an L function. Um, at S equals one has the following form. So a lot of this is based on ideas in uh, group theory and modular mathematics. And then we get into our proof. So our proof relies on the fact that fundamentally we are operating in a quantum field instead of a classical field. So in a classical field, we might assume that the number of points on an elliptic curve are finite because the number of particles that exists in that physical state space are finite. But when we use a quantum system or a quantum description for our curve, we can recognize that the quantum field is what truly underlies the classical field. So we're making a move here from CQ to QQ. We start by describing our system with a quantum energy measurement relying on some mathematics from uh, both Lev Grover and uh, his search algorithm and uh, Shankar and the quantum field theory. We then move into describing the relationship between uh, the classical field and the quantum field and then we use a reinforcement learning algorithm from Wesley Kelbling's research, and then we want to embed Grover or a quantum search algorithm in the reinforcement learning architecture using a deep Q network. So here we have our reward description. We have the action function, value function, the Q network. And here's our quantum search algorithm embedded into the reinforcement learning agent. So it's able to search our quantum field for all rational points on the elliptic curve, which is infinite. So as we can show, the classical field maps to the quantum field, and these two systems are convertible. And as a result, uh, the number of points on an elliptic curve are infinite. Uh, here's the references. Uh, feel free to check them out. I will post a link to the paper in the description. Feel free to provide any thoughts, comments, feedbacks, or hate. If you got haters out there, send it my way. And uh, have a great day.